Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. It's good to be here with you again today. <clears throat> I wanted to apologize for not uploading so much this month. I know it's been a while um, since the first, and uh, it's like the last day, or it might be February the first, I can't remember, I've been all um, the last two days, but um, thank you guys for holding in there. Um, I feel like I keep apologizing on every video, but I really am sorry that I can't upload like I want to. Um, <clears throat> but with that being said, uh, I have made some changes. Um, I don't know if you can tell by just looking at it, but I'm filming on my new phone. Uh, this one's the Galaxy S9. Uh, my old phone, the S7, it has bit the dust. Um, it is no longer with us. Uh, it black screened on me. It's been a great phone. I've had it for like three years. And honestly, I kind of got it with the intentions of starting the YouTube channel, or at least it helping me out with that. Um, I bought it because at the time, it had the best camera on it for a phone. And I knew I didn't have any editing skills. And I knew that I was just going to be doing point and shoot. And so that's what I got. And look where it's got us this far. You know, 90% of the videos that you've seen on this channel have been on this phone right here and they have been top-notch you know I can't knock the quality of what it's done so far it's really brought us together um, as a channel if it wasn't for that phone I wouldn't have known um, any of you guys probably the channel would be the channel would be a you know fraction of what it is now uh, so I want us to take a moment and just say bye to this wonderful piece of technology that has allowed us to share these moments together. And um, <clears throat> it kind of technically still works, but it black screen, so I'm not going to pay that uh, probably like $100 to fix the screen. I just can't do it. I'd just rather go get something new, um, something that's a little more nicer because the audio on this one was also not working out very well. So it was. it's nice to, to get something a little newer. And um, I can tell already that the, the video and quality on this one is gonna be great too. Um, I don't know about the, the sounds on it so much, but the video is gonna be great. And I think for lo-fi, ASMR is gonna be just right. Um, but on this video, uh, I've been wanting to do this one for a while actually. I wanted to talk my, about my pretty extensive um, necktie collection that I have amassed over the last two years. Uh, it's really amazing how much stuff you can collect in such a short amount of time. Uh, so I'm going to kind of slide these off and we'll just go through them one by one. I'll give a quick history and we'll just kind of talk about them. And uh, I've always been a sucker for like a, a good collection. It's not very big, but it's like enough to like stuff to talk about, I guess. So um, this first one here is like this yellow, uh, I guess like bullseye tie. Um, it might be hard to show up on video, but like I've spilled so much stuff on this tie. This was like my uh, one of my everyday ties when I first got to work, and. Uh, it like won't focus very well. Oh, there it is. And it was one of my um, everyday ties when I first got to to my job, and I spilled all kind of yeah. There's a stain right there, the coffee stain. I spilled all types of coffee on it. I spilled all types of salsa on it when I was going to get lunch. <clears throat> and uh, it treated me well, but it got kind of dull, so I kind of like put it up for retirement, but. I've always kind of wanted to do like a, uh, I don't know, like a, I don't know, like a shadow box with all my old ties and uh, and stuff. So I keep saving them, and it's amazing how fast they wear out. I, that's one thing I didn't realize um, when I was younger, before I thought I'd have a job that required me to wear ties. Um, <clears throat> how fast things you wear wear out when you wear them every day especially like business suits and stuff because they're not really um, designed for the wear and tear so when you like walk in them every day and you put it on every day they get, start getting fuzzy and there's just fibers in them wear out uh, 
uh, just like you know any shoe or anything would <clears throat> so there's that one and I've had it for probably two years now but it's still a good tie if I could get it cleaned up you know it'd still be fine it hasn't really got that wear on it like others have had and it's it's made by uh, Brooks Brothers so it's still you know it's it's a nice tie and the next tie is this orange orange tie. This is another one that has um, been well worn. Uh, I wore this one at the first of my career, and uh, I wore it mainly with a gray suit when I went for promotions because I thought this um, I thought this one popped like it. It kind of stands out when you're wearing a suit a little more, and uh, I always thought it was like. A good idea to kind of have something that like draws your attention to uh, you know your center and so I try to wear whenever I went for like a promotion or something I always wear more uh, or a job interview I'd always wear these more vibrant colors just to just kind of stand apart from the uh, ties like you know typical ties like this one and this one <clears throat> I'm not saying those aren't good ties but like they just don't really make a statement but um I've had this one for another two years, and this one that I've kind of retired, um, it's been well worn. It's kind of like, like this thing's kind of detached and off centered, so it needs to be resewn, and it's kind of come undone here. You, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's like starting to come split undone, and it kind of like when you're wearing it, it kind of hangs off like that a little bit sometimes. So it's uh, it's seen better days, but it's still a beautiful color. It's very vibrant orange. It's a perfect Halloween tie. <clears throat> and this one's just kind of like a uh, like an everyday tie. It's more of like, I don't know, old fashioned, old style, but it's very like soft. It's almost like silk. And it's, uh, I don't know the company it's made by, but it feels like, it feels like silk. It's beautiful. And it's so, these ties are so easy to tie. You can make really tight knots. And uh, I'm a double Windsor man myself. I can't even, I don't know if I could do it right now. I kind of forgot, I haven't worn a tie in like months. Let's see, I'm doing it backwards. Yeah, honestly, I'm having trouble remembering. Okay, so something like that. No, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> I'll do a tutorial on it later. I don't have time to see or fumble with it forever. I wish y'all could feel it. In that same kind of category, it's like a very silky. Um, this is one of my father's ties that he gave to me when I got my job, and it's like uh, you know, those older ties are much white, like they. They, they get real skinny and then all of a sudden they just get super wide at the bottom and it's like I guess they're for bigger man they kind of because my dad's like a broad a broad shouldered man but uh, to me it looks kind of goofy on me so like I only wear it every once in a while just because I can but it it looks kind of goofy looking tie it uh, doesn't look very well very good on me at all <clears throat> but uh I still love the feel of it and I wish it like was a little thinner because I love the pattern it's just like one of those every good everyday ties that doesn't really doesn't really pop so much <clears throat> and here's another one of my one of the ones I bought when I was uh, I just got hired I've had this one for about two years it's got like a uh, it's almost got a cotton feel to it and I don't know if y'all can see it but it's like fuzzy where it's been worn so much and tied up and taken off and uh, it's a very well worn tie but it's still like got a kind of vibrant look to it it's um I remember wearing this probably the first day I got hired I think I had this one on and uh, I wore this one mainly with my navy suit it goes well with that because it's got a little bit of blue and a little bit of white and I uh, always wore blue or white shirts but I still love it and this is another Brooks Brothers one. It's uh, if it hadn't got so fuzzy, I'd still wear it. But it is unfortunately kind of worn.
this one right here, I've had, I bought this one for my senior prom and I've had it ever since and I have, I've only worn it at special occasions so it's still almost brand new. It's, uh, it's got a little bit of wear on it but it's uh, still a very nice tie. I just think like purple patterns look so sharp on a suit. <clears throat> To me, like purple and blue are just like the some of the colors that you like. I don't know. It's got that like royalty feel to it. You know, you just feel like a an important gentleman when you have a good good tight knot and a purple tie and a slick suit. I just love uh, I love the purple ties. And uh, even though this is my older one, this is like this is one of my special occasion ties. So like I'll bring this out when I'm going to something fun. Uh, like a wedding or you know someone something like that and then I got my Friday tie so just a bunch of birds on a black tie and uh, it doesn't really go with anything because it's so colorful but it's just fun and, and it's just a fun tie to wear but it's uh, it's got cardinals blue jays sparrows hummingbirds bluebirds finch I think that's a swallow. Anyway, it's a very colorful, fun tie. I wish I had more ties like this, like fun ties, but you kind of, I kind of want to, you know, it's like a, um, I want it to, most of the time I want to be more, I don't know, professional looking. It's like I, I can't kind of wear the stuff I want to wear um, just in regards to work, but it's like occasionally I'll like, I'll wear it. It's usually, it's more of a Friday tie for sure, but it's got this like, I don't know how to describe the texture, but it's like, it's definitely a synthetic fabric. And this is one of my newer ties. I've only had this one for like a month. It's another very uh, vibrant yellow tie. And I wear mostly blue shirts now, so it's got that blue stripe that goes with it. And uh, it just looks really sharp, and it looks good, honestly, with a uh, navy or a gray suit. Um, I just feel like one day I might just do a whole closet reveal and talk about everything I got in there, but it's a uh, very pretty, very a silky texture to it. Very nice. And this is another one of my newer ties. I've only worn this like a couple times, but it's like... It's uh, Crown and Ivy. I think I got it at Belts. It's like the American flag. It's got the, the stripes around the neck part where you tie it up. And then the rest of it is the like a denim faded stars. And it's a, it's got like a real, it's like cotton. You know, it's like a cotton tie. It's real soft. Very American feeling. <laughs> And I've only worn this one a couple times. It's kind of not, this is another kind of fun tie. It's like a Friday tie, you know. But it it's almost got that kind of sharp look to it. So you know, you, on, you honestly in a dress shirt you don't even see the the stripes hardly, except when it's like down here and you can kind of catch it at an angle. All right, let's see. This is another one my dad gave me when I got my job, and uh, it's like a blood, like a real thick blood red and just with a little pattern on it it's another silky one but it's another one of these that gets real fat at the bottom but it's not as bad as the other one um, this is one of my regular ties but I wear it very little because it doesn't have a I guess you call it a slip in the back to put the the tail of the tie and so we gotta use a safety pin it doesn't work very well so I don't really wear this one that much but I will in a pinch. Let's see. There's another old tie. I haven't worn this one at all, but it's one I have. I just don't like the, uh, I don't like these two going together. It's too old, too old style of a tie for me, but somebody gave it to me. I think it was my aunt and you know, so I had to be grateful and I wear it if I'm gonna go see her, I guess. <laughs> So she doesn't hate me, and I don't feel like such an asshole for not using her present. So um, that one's one's all right. 
This is one I have. All right, this one is another one that was given to me when I first got my job by, I can't remember who gave it to me, but I think it was my dad. And uh, it's just another vibrant yellow tie. And uh, I feel like purple and yellow are like people, you know, that's the main color of ties, purple, yellow, and blue, and red. But I feel like most business people wear purple, yellow, and blue, or blue and yellow more. And it, they all kind of look the same though, which is the unfortunate part. It's like, they're very different, but they're all kind of similar. And my last two ties, I got this one, I remember I got this one like midway last year. And uh, this is another one that's kind of worn. Um, but I love the look of it. It goes with anything, and it's a really sharp, like all American looking tie. Yeah, I'll do like when I can remember how to tie a tie. <laughs> I'll give a tutorial on it one of these days. And my last tie is this one, and it's probably my favorite, um, just because it's very it's very poppy um, pattern and color, and it draws your attention, and it goes fantastic with a navy suit. <laughs> Sorry about that, and uh, it's a uh, it just draws your attention. I wore this on the last time on um, my last interview that I got promoted, and because uh, I want to stand out, you know, I want something to pop, and uh, this one got me the job, so uh, it's kind of lucky in my eyes. So I probably won't wear this one to the next one, but this one will always have a special place in my heart, and uh, that's the. last one that I have so I got like I don't know what like 15 or something like that I didn't really count but it's uh, for only two years of working in the field I uh, think I've amassed quite a collection there and I, I know this was a super quiet um, ASMR video but I just want to post something that I think you guys enjoy one that I've been waiting to do um, now that I got the phone I Fortunately, can do more on-the-spot videos where I just set up like this and we go and this phone has a lot more storage than the last one so hopefully I can do like you know 20 minute videos this one's gonna be near like 20 minutes like 20 minute videos 30 minute videos maybe I can uh, thinking about probably getting out of camera soon so maybe I can do even longer than that I just bought uh, some unfortunately really expensive <laughs> editing software so I'm gonna try to teach myself that but um, until next time, I hope everybody has a wonderful night and a great rest of your coming days. And hopefully I will see you in just a few. Um, so with that, good night and sweet dreams. Goodbye, everybody.